Hello and welcome to a, another weekly vlog of New York City Marathon training while living life, working a pretty intense job, doing side hustles and just doing it all. It is Tuesday morning and I'm just making my second coffee. It is about 10.45, I think. Actually, no, it's my third coffee. I had a black coffee in the morning, like at eight o'clock. And then I had one of these Nescafe sachets, which are my absolute favorite. And now I'm having another because if you could only see what it looks like outside, it's the most miserable, most hideous day. And my energy levels are on the floor. I don't know if you can tell, I can't even perk myself up for this video. As I said, today officially marks the second week of New York City Marathon training or the first session of week two, I should say. Yesterday was a rest day, which was absolutely magnificent. I've been working out a lot more consistently in the last couple of months. I've just been really back into my fitness groove. So not having something active to do yesterday, even though I needed the rest day, felt really strange. And I actually feel like Part of the reason why I'm so low energy today is because I didn't do something active yesterday. I had an okay sleep, it could have been better. And yeah, I think it's all because I literally sat on my butt the entire day yesterday. <laughs> Between working and then anywhere to go in the evening or anything like that, it was a Monday of course. So yeah, I think that's why I'm feeling low energy today. Tuesdays are my busiest work day, just in terms of meetings and today just the sheer number of tasks i need to get done in between all the meetings but other than that i also have a tiktok sponsored video to edit as well as a youtube video to edit and upload amongst just other life admin so there's a lot to do and it's not an ideal day to be feeling so low energy but i'm gonna just embrace it and we're gonna get through whatever we need to get done here is what this week's training is looking like. We have a 6.5 tempo run today, then a lower body strength session tomorrow, a 7.5 easy on Thursday, and the long run is 11, followed by an upper body. Needless to say, I will be doing today's tempo run on the treadmill. <laughs> so that's gonna be an after work task. Found last week's tempo run really challenging. I took breaks as I needed to, but yeah, the pace really pushed me, which I guess is the entire point of a tempo run. But just knowing that that was challenging and I have to do another kilometer on top of that today is like, ugh, but it's okay. Um, it'll feel so good once I'm done. And I'm really excited for strength session tomorrow. I've been really loving just general gym work and dumbbells and strength and all that kind of stuff. Gotta jump on a quick call, be back. It's lunchtime. I've just been on a call for the last couple of hours. I got a little bit of energy from that call, so that's good. The rest of my afternoon is literally mostly meetings. I'm having oats for lunch. I know, I know. Getting through this day, honestly, I'm just feeling really out of it. I think it's definitely the weather contributing. I'm just joining our company stand up now while I eat my lunch because it's super chill, super casual. And then I'll check in a little bit later. I've just finished work. I closed the laptop, immediately went to get changed into my running clothes. So my brain did not even have a chance to think about this run that I'm about to do. It's still a little bit bright outside, but it is absolutely pouring, which I'll show you in a second. And I think the gym is gonna be packed. So fingers crossed, I can get a good treadmill. A good treadmill is one where I'm not just staring at a blank wall and I can hopefully see out the window. And yeah, I'm gonna smash this. 6.5k tempo run. I'm gonna feel amazing afterwards. I have so much editing to do tonight, which I'm very much looking forward to. So that's gonna be my treat. And yeah, we're just sticking to the plan. What I love about having a plan is you really have to talk yourself out of doing it. 
It's not like you wake up and you're like, what should I do today? Should I work out? Should I not? What should I do? Should I do a long workout, a short workout, Pilates, a run? No, it's up there. And all I have to do is do it. Like previous me has already made the decision. Wearing my all time favorite Gymshark Vital Seamless. I have these in like four colors and they are the best leggings ever. I'm wearing a Gymshark Whitney Simmons top and actually a Gymshark, oh wow, I'm all Gymshark, a Gymshark bra and a Gymshark sweatshirt. That was totally unplanned, but. Good evening. It is 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the next day. I pretty much sat here and worked the entire day. It was a very full on and quite a heavy work day. So now I am actually just finishing up editing and preparing my YouTube video to go live. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm not allowed to leave or get off the seat until this video is done. Uh, I'm almost there. It's actually my week one of marathon training. So yeah, I think it's come together really nicely and it's making me really excited for week two and this whole series in fact. So yeah, I'm gonna do this once it's live. I'm gonna get ready for the gym and then I'm gonna share with you guys some new running gear that I, I ordered and arrived today. Uh, really excited about one item in particular that I got. So let me do this and then I will check in soon. If you are interested in committing to something big, it doesn't have to be a marathon, it could be anything, but you are worried about how you're gonna find the time to do it, how will you make the time, what about all of the other things you have going on in your life? Trust me when I say, once you commit to the thing, all of that stuff falls into place, especially if it is important to you, you will find and make the time. And tonight was a really good example of that for me. So I had to get this video up. And as a result, I actually ended up adapting my workout and not going to the gym and doing it at home instead. I had DOMS for three days after this workout. And I got both things done. I got my video up and I did my strength test. So this is a channel I recommend for home workouts, Sydney Cummings. She is incredible. I started following her during 2020 lockdowns and I still do her home workouts to this day. I actually only did home workouts for about two to three years post COVID and only workouts I ever use are her ones. So let's have a look. So she's got lots of, she's got, you can go through her playlist. So there's 20 minute legs, 30 minute workouts, 40 minute workouts, um, timed based workouts, no equipment, specific body parts. So I might do a leg workouts playlist and go through this. So there's a 45 minute lean, strong, best at home legs, sweaty, lean and strong legs, empowering glutes and abs, low impact, 45 minutes, legs and glutes. Hmm. The problem I have is I can never decide which workout to do. She has that many and they are all so challenging. Uh, I might just do this one. 45 minute lean, strong at home workout. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Let's do it. I've got some decent equipment at home to do a home leg workout. I have two eight kilo dumbbells and then I have two five kilo dumbbells. I also have a 10 kilo plate i haven't taken that out yet and then i've got a bunch of resistance bands and resistance bands are so underrated if you don't use them i highly recommend and sydney has some incredible band only workouts and you will not be walking the next day 20 minutes you will be roasted so um and i've got this mat so yeah i am gonna do this 45 minute leg workout and one thing i'm learning through this marathon training even though it's only week two is everything is about adapting when you can't do a specific workout. So I could have gone to the gym tonight, but am I going to get any less of a workout if I do it at home?
happy Saturday. I'm just checking in quickly to talk about what we are up to uh, heading into the end of week two of marathon training. Yesterday we had the most amazing run. If I haven't already talked about it in a voiceover, um, the run felt so effortless and I felt so light and airy and it was just an absolute breeze. The 7.5k easy run that we had scheduled actually turned into an eight kilometer run. And that just left me on an absolute high on Friday night, which was yesterday. So today we have just been roaming around, we got coffee, we had brunch, uh, and we are just getting some merch that we're making for ourselves for the marathon as well, which is really fun. So we just ordered some really nice hoodies and track pants, and then we're going to be custom making a little logo for the back and front to put on our hoodie. So it's just a little fun creative project that we're gonna work on. And then it's it's about four o'clock right now, but this evening we will be going to do an upper body workout. Really looking forward to that because I haven't properly worked out upper body in a while and there's nothing like just a good strength session. And then tomorrow we'll have our long Sunday run. However, plot twist, there is apparently some kind of Arctic storm coming to Melbourne or Australia over the weekend. We don't know when it's gonna hit. It, it is already quite cold. So we'll have to see how we go for that tomorrow. Worst case scenario, we do the 11K on the treadmill and I'm actually totally fine with that. But hopefully we can squeeze in the outdoor run at some point during the day. Even if we do have to run in the rain, I'm fine with that. I think it will be really good for us to just build up some resilience doing so. I just don't wanna get sick. So yeah, that is what is currently going on and I will check back in later. Happy Sunday. It is long run Sunday and it's an 11 kilometer run on the plan for today. I'm currently making French toast as pre long easy run fuel and we have a plot twist today because it's pouring outside. So, so I haven't completely decided how this long run is gonna happen. The rain seems to be somewhat intermittent so it could just be a case of just getting out there. Um, maybe starting while it's not raining and i think like once you're out there and you're running it's not such a big deal that it's raining it's also very windy like icy wind so running along the beach which is the typical run route is again just going to be super exposed harsh winds a lot of resistance but maybe i'm just making excuses yeah so we'll see pre-run feels going to happen because worst case it's happening on the treadmill even if it's not the full 11 kilometers so yeah let me update you once i know what the plan is Maybe not the coolest look, but very practical. Wearing Gymshark Vital Seamless tights, which are not warm, but they're just the OG. Two times U light compression socks in a funky color for some fun on a cloudy day. Uh, Under Armour Heat Tech top. I don't think it's that warm, but apparently it's supposed to be, so we'll see. Then running beer, thermal 
jacket, thermofit or something. This is meant to be warm. It's a bit fleecy inside and it's made for running. Nike, just raincoat thing. Does it have a hood? Yes, it does have a hood. Two times you fleece headband. And just like that, it's time for our week two debrief. How was week two? A lot easier. This week, we also learned a little bit about cadence and how to increase your cadence. We used a metronome app to test our cadence. Yeah, so apparently 180 is a average, on average is a good cadence to have, but obviously it's not for everyone. Um, but the smaller strides you make, the higher your cadence, which is more recommended rather than having like lower cadence and longer strides and yeah we found a playlist on spotify called 180 beats per minute which we we used to run vibing to it it was a good yeah. good playlist yeah and i really think it made a difference the not necessarily doing 180 beats per minute but moving a lot faster um or in slower strides and what do you have to say about that I think the, yeah, the training is definitely helping. We find this week a lot easier. We are building um, our endurance more so and making the runs easier as a result, which is good. Yeah, this week felt pretty easy. Don't want to jinx myself. Pretty easy compared to last week. Um, so it feels like the training is working and the tempo run felt like where, where I realized I think the training is working is because the tempo run felt way easier than last week even though it was longer and the easy run felt so easy that we we did half a kilometer more than we needed to yeah the easy run is really good yeah we we're just like in the zone yeah pushing yeah so we've got a deload week next week feels like a break feels like we barely have to do anything this week which is quite nice to get to the point where you don't feel like doing five workouts a week as much yeah so yeah training plans work we have done a 10 week training plan before, which we followed pretty strictly mm. for a half marathon. And that was my first ever one, so I really needed a training plan. And it worked. It worked. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up week two here and really looking forward to continuing to document week three. If you did get this far, thank you so much for watching. And the word of the week, which you can comment down below if you did get this far, is Jim Bod. Jim Bod. Jim Bod. All right. Thanks for watching and see you for week three.